Hey guys, welcome back to another Emrefan video. So today we're going to be playing Sonic Speed Simulator and Gold Style Vector, a character that we really need a gold style for because, I mean, he's literally obsessed with riches and gold. So, I mean, it's kind of a crime if we didn't get a Gold Style Vector. But we finally got him. So, awesome. Gold Style Vector. So, this one is actually very easy. Time trials, easy in the bag. Might take a while, but it's still easy. Races, again, easy. You can just do some quick ones. Uh, Chaos Orbs. Well, we now have... Speed jungle here permanently, even after them telling us that it's going to go on several occasions, it is still here. So, it's not going, but, um, Classic Amy and Classic Knuckles are gone, but Classic Sonic is still there as a permanent quest. And this is permanently World 6, so cool. Chaos Orbs, easy. Bad Nicks, again, all we need is Green Hill. Races, time trials, and rail grind points. Again, it's, an, it's one of those ones where it's a lot. It's 250,000. So we're going to need those uh, those rail grinds in Speed Jungle. We're going to need those vines. So this is actually a very easy quest. And we can actually multitask with it. So I think the first thing that we should do, definitely time trials or races. Then we do the other one. So yeah, we do those two first, one or the other. Then we go and do our rail grind points, which will take a while, but it won't be too bad. Uh, and then we do bad nicks and then chaos orbs will be extremely easy if we have a little bit of magnet We can just go straight into speed jungle and pick up a bunch So let's start off with the chaos orbs. No, not chaos orbs uh, Let's go into the time trials. We'll start with that. Yeah Got all of our ring chow equipped already, so This should be pretty all right, and it's 15 time trials, so it's gonna be long but I mean, it, it won't be terrible. It's not difficult, it's just long, so. And we can even get some bad nicks on the way as well. That'll help out. That wasn't smart. I missed that thing. Okay, there we go. So yeah, we can just get a bunch of bad nicks on the way as well. So I will see you guys once I've done all of the races, because this is going to take a long time. I also got the Race to Omega skin, because I got enough... Uh, yeah, I got enough candy, and I was able to buy every single Halloween skin. I already had the Witch's Broom, so I didn't need to buy that. Uh, but yeah, so I got Race Suit Omega. This what Race Suit Omega? What? No, I got Pumpkin Omega, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've been saying Race Suit Omega this whole time, but yeah. I got Pumpkin Omega. He looks really cool. The, like, it's purple, orange, and green. The typical Halloween colours. All of the boost at once. All on the boost and the... Is it on the boost? Okay, it's not on the boost, but it is on the roll. And the... Yeah, that. And the... Yeah, so it's on the spin dash and on the jump. So, yeah, that's super cool. I love the entire colour design as well. It's awesome. And the pumpkin for a head is just... It works so well. I love this skin. So cool. The colour scheme is also amazing. I This skin just works so well. I don't know how, but it just does. The boost hasn't really got much special going on, but I mean, it, it's made up for by the skin itself. Like, I don't think we need very much more awesome stuff to make this skin more awesome. Like, it's even got vines on the shoulders. Pumpkin vines on the shoulders. That's so cool. Okay guys, we just completed the time trials, so now we're going to move on to the races, and to be honest, we're probably going to complete this, in fact, actually no, we're not going to do races yet, we're going to get some more, uh, yeah, we're going to hatch some eggs in Hilltop, and then we are going to uh, complete our quest to get about a 20 minute magnet, that's going to be really helpful, and then we're going to use that to get more Chaos Orbs. Okay, so now we have a 20 minute magnet, and now we can join into all the races, and we can do this. Okay, cool. Wait, hold on. We need our good hoverboards. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, I don't think there's a good hoverboard for this dude. I mean, I guess Vector's hoverboard will have to do, but I don't think he has a good hoverboard. Another thing, uh, because it's... I don't know where this one went, but uh, because it was... Uh, because this dude's here, Gold Style Vector, they actually put on sale both of the uh, golden hoverboards, the limited ones, the ones that were um, extremely expensive. They put them on sale for 10 Robux, which is really cheap. So, 
I, I just had to buy them. It's literally only 20 Robux. That's like 20 pence for two for two hoverboards that are exclusive. So I've got two of them now. So now Gold Midas is right over here. That one was really old. Really cool though. And uh, not that one. That one you could get from an event. Uh, and then the gold, the collector's edition blue star hoverboard. So yeah, I got a lot of stuff. Just for the price of 20 Robux. Pretty cool. <clears throat> the Golden Midas is still on sale. But by the time this video goes up, it won't, it won't be. But, I mean, for now it still is. So, so yeah, this is going to be another one that's going to take a while. So, I will see you guys once I completed the Racer's Quest. And then I'll come back for the Bad Nicks and Rail Grind. And then Chaos Orbs if we even need to. Because I'm probably going to complete it while doing the races. Okay guys, so we just completed the races task and the chaos task, which we did along the way. So now we have five of the uh, Earth Ninja Chow. I mean, I already have those, so I'm probably just going to end up deleting them, but I mean, hey. Uh, and we also have the Golden Oma Chow? Chow? Yeah, the Golden Oma Chow. I think I have that already though, so let me just check. Yeah, I have the Earth Ninja Chow. So I'm probably going to delete the other ones. Yeah, I'm just going to delete these ones because... Bye, guys. I don't really need you. Okay, and uh, these ones, Gold Omachow. I'm pretty sure I already have a Gold Omachow. Yep, I have one of those two. So, <laughs> probably just going to get rid of these two. I mean... I mean, less stuff to upgrade, I guess. Uh, okay, so next up, we're just going to go... Yeah, we're going to go get... Bad Nicks and Rail Grind Points. Okay, I say we do Bad Nicks now. Just for... I don't really know. I say we just do Bad Nicks now. So. Uh, again, there's this really cool path that you can just get so much... So many Bad Nicks at... All at once. So, it's the one I'm doing right now. So, like... It, it's super easy. You get about... 51? You get 51 Bad Nicks if you follow this path. And they're all regen by the time you get back. So, so you can go over it as many times as you want, and you'll almost never like run out of bad nicks. So, uh, yeah, Green Hill is always the best place for bad nicks because of this. So, yeah. Okay, I will see you guys when I'm done with this because these bad nick tasks take a lot of time. They've been taking a lot of time recently. Okay, guys, just two more. These two right here. And there we go, that is the 500 bandits quest complete. Now we have, what did we get from that? We got the hyperwave trail. I didn't even know what that was called, but okay. So we have both of those now. So now we have all five, we can evolve it. And I've, uh, while I was doing the races, I actually managed to get up to 100,000 rail grind points already. So that is almost half of what we need to do in, uh, I keep forgetting the name of this place. That is almost half of what we need to do in Speed Jungle, so that's good. So now this should be a pretty easy job. I actually think the Rail Grind in Green Hill was actually, like, it gave you more Rail Grind points than the one in Speed Jungle, because I've done a lot of Rail Grinds in Speed Jungle, and they've taken a whole lot longer than this, so, I mean... I think it's this one. But yeah, they're always like, I always get so much, so many more points than just 2,000 on a rail grind as long as this. Like, I'm only getting 2,000 from this. Like, that's really not a lot at all. Like, no wonder this has been taking so long. Okay, so I will see you guys once I complete the rail grind points quest. Okay, yep, there we go. Gold Style Vector done. We completed the rail grind points quest. Nice. Trails, friends, there we go, characters. Assuming he's, okay, he's not at the bottom, he's just with other vector. Yeah, he's just with the other vectors. Okay, cool. Gold style vector, let's see. I still have the luck chow equipped. You mean to tell me all this time I've been running about and I haven't even had good chow? Okay, where are my good chow? Wait a minute. When did they upgrade the tails chow? 
When did the Tails child get such an upgrade? I mean, I'm not complaining because this was one of my best child before and now he's even better, but... Okay, I'm keeping all of my good child because one of these days they're all going to be amazing. They're going to be even better than what they already are, so... Or what they were before. Uh, Riders... Not Riders Vector. Uh, Gold Style Vector. The zip looks very off, but I mean... We're just going to ignore the zip. The gold is great. It's great. Gold style vector. The black and gold is just such a good com combo. Okay, we go up here. Let's just head over here. Gold sunglasses, of course. Every single gold style character just has to have sunglasses. Uh, and uh, is that a diamond or an emerald? I don't even know what that is. That's a gold diamond. Like gold chain. I'm pretty sure he always has a gold chain, right? Yeah, this chain's much more golden than his normal one. Yeah, it's much more shiny. Okay, so if we go down here, let's see. So his shoes also got a pretty good upgrade. And his gloves, he's got gold all over. Yeah, this is definitely one of the really good skins. This is awesome. Those are some very good shoes. I would wear those in real life. I would wear those shoes. This is very cool. Animations, I'm pretty sure they're the same as normal Vector. Yeah, they're all the same. It's just the the spin dash and the jump. I love that, that, that streak thing that they've added recently. It's so cool. Like the black and white and then the yellow in the middle. It's so cool. So anyways, that's how you unlock uh, Gold Style Vector inside of Sonic Speed Simulator. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below what guys will see you next tomorrow. And I'll see you guys in another... Everyone video. Peace.